growing maples from seed is not rocket science. It's the 26th of October today, and as you can see, the maples at Herons, which we have planted in the ground, many of these have been planted only 25 or 30 years ago, are turning this beautiful autumn color. And look at the color, some of them are orange, some of them are deep red. But if you look closely at some of the trees, if we go close up to some of these trees, you will see that they are covered in seed. It's been a very hot year this summer, and because of the hot summer, we've had a very good crop of seed. Look at just this tiny branch. There must be like two or three hundred seeds just on that tiny twig. And each of these, in this little bunch, how many wings will this? One, two, three, four, five. There are ten seeds here, and there will be ten potential plants which will germinate from this. At the end of the autumn, end of October or early November, we go around and collect all the seeds. There's no point collecting the seeds before they are ripe. You have to collect the maple seeds when they are ripe. And when they are ripe, they're nice and firm and hard. But the mistake a lot of people make is that they store the seeds for very long. The longer you store the seeds, the less viable they become. So what we do with the seeds, and this is the foolproof way of getting maple seeds to germinate. We collect the seeds and we sow them straight away into the seed pans. So we will show you how we do these. I will just collect a few seeds and we will go and plant them up. I'm now just removing the leaves from this handful of seeds that I collected. I don't need to put the leaves in, although there's no harm leaving it in. This particular maple is called the small leaf maple because the leaves are very, very small and the seeds are also very small. So there are, I would say, a couple of hundred seeds there so we can get a couple of hundred plants. And now we will prepare the compost. There is no hard and fast rule as to what is the best compost to use. You can use bonsai compost which has grit, akadama and sharp sand in it. But this one is just a mixture of 50% uh, fine pine bark and 50% sphagnum moss peat. I find that's quite good. We fill it nearly to the top and then I will get the seeds and sow them in. So this is my handful of seeds. I just scatter it in. I sometimes sow much denser than this, but this is all right. So once you put the seeds in, then we put another thin film of say about three or four millimeters deep of the same compost, tamp it down a little bit, and then we'll water it in with a watering can. After watering it in, I'm now going to take it to one of my tunnels and I will cover it with a sheet of glass. We put the seed tray on the gravel because the gravel will provide some moisture from the low and with a sheet of glass I cover that. So that large sheet of glass I can cover about two seed trays and I leave it throughout the winter. Sometimes you can leave it outside for the frost to uh, work on the seeds. The action of the frost is what we call the stratification process. You may have heard about stratification 
where sometimes people put the seeds in a fridge or a freezer just to give the effect of the alternate freezing and thawing conditions. And when it freezes and thaws, the cyclical action of the freezing and thawing is what wakes the seed up. So stratification is the process whereby the seeds are woken up from their sleep. And with stratification, you will get a much better chance of the seeds germinating. I don't often, or I now don't sow any of my seeds in the spring. Some people advise you to sow seeds in the spring, but the most successful uh, uh, seed sowing is usually done about now in the autumn time so that we can leave these seed trays out in the frost throughout the winter for the weather to stratify the seeds. And I'm now going to show you some seeds that we germinated last year. We sowed them last November, November 2017, and I will show you the results. Maple seeds that we sowed last November. We must have had about a hundred trays of these seeds, but we didn't have time to prick the seeds out. But can you see, there are literally, there must be like 500 or more plants in here. Every single seed, I reckon, has germinated. But next year, I can still separate the seeds and put them up into individual pots. So this is living proof of how easy it is to sow maples from seed. In fact, it is so easy that I will show you we have found maple seedlings growing in the pots of other plants. This large garden pine that we are growing has been here for quite a few years. And these are just the stray maple seedlings that have fallen in the pot. This tree must be about two years old and this is last year's seedling. So you can see that these maple seeds, wherever they fall, they will germinate. So you don't have to take a lot of special uh, precaution or measures to sow maple seeds. They are really, really easy to sow from seed. And of course, the trick is not to store the seeds too long because the longer you store the seed, the less viable they become. So when you get the seeds, sow them straight away. And on our nursery, we will show you some of the maples that we grow from seed. We grow thousands of maples each year. Many of these maples have lost their leaves, but you can see these have been grown from seed on the nursery. And these are about six or seven years old. And you notice we don't let them grow tall. If we had not pruned them, they would be about four to five foot tall by now. But each year we prune them hard back because the object is to make small bonsai out of them. And there you are, sowing maples from seed is really, really very easy. 